Back to part two of um, making a journal using one of the mail mailers. So <clears throat> I've figured out what I want to do to this cover, and I've just taken the honeycomb print. I love that, and I've folded it, and I'm going to make a writing space so that this is going to open up. So I want to do a couple of things very quickly and I am going to line this with some tea dye paper. So the first thing I want to do is round the corners. In fact, I'm going to round this one as well. Okay, so I know I'm going to want, I pulled out a couple of buttons, and wouldn't you know it, in my mind, I was going to use some of my big, big buttons. But sure enough, um, I have packed those. <sighs> Just typical, isn't it? I haven't had a use for those. Um, And, and of course, you know, now that I do have, I don't know if that's going to work. Um, I don't know why I just did that. Okay. Let me get... Some thread here. I'm going to sew these on before I back this with the tea dye paper so that I can cover this little bit. So, yeah, I don't know why I did that. Yeah, it's a shame because I rarely get projects where I can use those big buttons, and uh, it's unfortunate that I did. Um, oh, what am I doing? I oh my gosh, guys, I'm having a a real moment here. Good grief, you know, uh, it's because I'm doing trying to do it on the camera. It's always the way. I don't know what in the world I was thinking when I did it that way. That's why I wanted to... to um, mark those. Goodness. Boy, I'm having a time. Monday, you know. <laughs> I don't know if it will be Monday when this is published, but it's Monday, and boy, it's uh, starting off that way. I seem to be having all sorts of issues. So, yeah, it's going to leave a little bit of a... Um, bump. But that's okay, I'd rather have that than seeing the stitching, you, you know. So let me just now grab another bit of thread here, and then I'll show you. I'll get this backed, and then I'll have to, um, I'll do some machine stitching, and then you can see it when it's done. So... Um, let me just go ahead and sew this, guys, and then I'll come back because you don't even want to sit here and watch me doing this. I'm just going to get that positioned and sewn on, and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I got the two buttons on there, and I think that's going to look nice. Now what I'm going to do is just put some glue on this, 
and then I will um, let that all dry because like I said it's going to have a little bit of bump on the other side but that's okay um, it's just the way it's going to have to be but I do I just don't like seeing I like to finish things off if you don't want to do this step you could just cut out a little circle and put over it I've done that before in the past and that's pretty if you put like a little bumblebee I'll just get a bit of glue on here, get this down, let it dry, and then I'll stitch around this because I want this to have a really nice finished look to it. So yeah, I still don't know if I'm going to do one or two signatures, but um, I might do, two might be better, but just uh, slightly smaller than I normally would do. Um, but we will figure that out. I should have got my papers cut, but I wanted to come back and show you this little feature on the front. That's looking nice. Yep, I think that's going to be very pretty. So now I'm going to do some stitching around that. I'm hoping that's not going to cause me a problem. Yikes. Yep, I hope that's not going to be an issue on the machine. So I will be back, guys, and um, hmm. Tell you what, let me go ahead and get this bit. I've got um, this little image here I want to get on there. I was debating on using some black thread. It's been ages since I've um, used it, but I'm not going to put it on the cover. I don't believe I'm going to use the black thread on the cover, but um, I don't know. Should I? Paul's, if you're hearing something in the background, Paul's in the garden um, doing a bit of work, so I do apologize for that. Okay, let's get this 
actually down. And then I'll take this to the machine and get some sewing on it just to finish that off nicely. Oh, I can't tell you guys how much I love this kit. It is just beautiful. Okay, I like that. I think that looks really pretty. I'll be back. Okay guys, I have got this stitched. This is ready to go on. I'm just going to sit it to the side because I want to now get the inside um, kind of finished off and then this I will probably attach at the very end. So I'm just going to put that to the side for now. So I have went ahead and cut the papers and I have decided to go ahead and do a two signature with these and then that will be purely for writing. Um, I don't know if I'll add anything inside as far as pockets. Probably not because we're going to do quite a bit on the front and the back and I think that's going to be kind of cool. Um, so we'll see. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is a uh, hidden spine and I'm not going to um, spend a lot of time on this because I know that you can get tutorials on YouTube that are probably going to show you much better than I can um, how to do this. And then that is going to go down there and then we will cover all this up. But I do want to get these signatures sewn in. And... Uh, make a start on the, um, the, the flips and things there. So, I'm going to use a five hole uh, pamphlet stitch. And I'll just get started on it and then come back and get this glued down and then We'll make a start on uh, covering this because I'm going to need to get papers printed. So yes, um, I always do mark top and bottom uh, when I do these. Actually, let me start with this other one first. And I think these have got about five pages each, so... So 
so far 20 be 40 pages on writing so I think that's that's going to be good and like I said we'll have some flips and some interesting uh, little elements going on with this um, all the way through. So we had some really nice weather um, the last two days, and today it's a little bit cloudy here in the UK, but it's much milder than we were having, so that's been nice. Um, kind of got out and did some walks um, where we're at. They've just put in a really nice little walk path. Um, and that's made it easier because in the winter here it's so muddy the places that we normally walk in the summer that um, we can't do those in the winter so this we've been really fortunate to have this little path now it makes it makes it much better to get out and do a, a reasonable walk because I've marked it out it's about just under two miles and if I can do that two times a day um, Feel, I feel like that's pretty good, you know, for, for, and then, you know, some other things in the house, but it's just nice to get out and get a little bit of fresh air, because um, I'm totally understanding cabin fever now, <laughs> uh, it wasn't really a problem until this last year, but boy, I totally get how people who are in isolated areas go stir crazy. Uh. Okay guys, so I'm going to tie that off, get the other one sewn in, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I have now attached the signatures to the block that I'm going to um, get glued down here and that's going to give us the hidden spine so let me go ahead and get that glued that way that can uh, be drying and then we will make a start on this uh, front flip Okay, so I have went ahead and cut the papers that I'm going to use to cover this when we get to that point. But the next little thing I wanted to do 
is share with you. I have cut two bits of cardstock. These are seven and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Seven and a quarter wide, eight and a quarter high, and then I have scored at two and a quarter and one and a half so that it creates a um, a bit of space here for <clears throat> because what we, I want to do that's going to give us about a I don't know three quarters of an inch spine there to add some flips and things here and I've done the same on the back so it's the same size for the back too okay and then, as I said, from there we will start to build more flips and tucks and things. But the first thing I want to do now is go over and I'm going to take some muslin and reinforce this section of it. So probably um, about a two inch strip of muslin on the f <coughs> that I want to reinforce this with. So I'm just going to reinforce it on the um, exterior side so that will show. So. I'm just going to get a two inch strip and then I'll sew this at the machine. And then I shall be back. Okay, so you can see that's been stitched on one side because um, this will all get covered with um, other flips and probably uh, decorative papers. So. I'm uh, just going to get this down and then we can start building from there. And each um, little portion that we put on is probably going to be a project in itself. So I guess it's really going to end up kind of like a lap book, is my thinking. And then the journal pages are just like a little bonus. A little bonus section towards the center there. So let me get this lined up. And that's going to give us a nice bit of space so that even when that's closed, hopefully it's not going to be gator mouthed. <laughs> I don't want that to be gator mouthed. So I will leave this now to dry because the tacky glue will take slightly longer than the um, fabric tack. So I'll leave this to dry and then we will start on this front and we won't worry about this back one just yet. Just getting that into place. And uh, let me see if I can give you a, a look now from the side how that's going to look when that all is closed up. It's quite nice, isn't it? I mean, it may expand a bit more. But I think that's going to look good. Okay, guys, I'm going to let this dry. And in the next portion here... We'll get this element done, and then uh, you'll have an idea of where I'm going with this then. Okay, guys, so the first thing I want to do here is I'm going to add a couple of little flips and like a coin envelope style closure. So... <clears throat> I've measured this out at three, uh, four and a half by three seven five, 
and then I've scored it at a quarter of an inch so they end up with a, a working space of three and a half on the top and the bottom. <clears throat> so let me set this over here and let's get, I have to have these beads, aren't they beautiful? So I'm going to go ahead and cut that down which will end up, the designer paper will be four and a quarter by three and a quarter. That's come out lopsided. Ah, oh, that's going to bug me. Okay, let me pull that back off, guys. I don't know why that's come. I'm trying not to get my head in the camera because, um, it's been about four months since I've had my hair cut and colored. <laughs> so it's really, really bad, guys. I'm trying not to get my head on the camera. You'll see all my gray hairs. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is switch over to that black thread and put a little bit of stitching around this just to bring this out a little bit more detail, I think, isn't I love that paper. <sighs> That's not straight. Sorry, I'm having a time here with the camera mounted where it is. Bear with me, and then I'll get this sewn. There we go. Okay, guys, I'm going to go do some black stitching around this, and then we'll get the closure on it and uh, get at least the first portion of this done. Be right. Okay, guys, I've got those stitched now, and I've cut out a piece of paper just to back this. So I want to get that on, but before I do, I'm going to just take our little hinge and get that glued down first. And the same with the bottom here. Get those. Make sure I got those even. Yep, that looks about about right. And because I'm going to be gluing paper. To fabric, I'll use um, 
a bit more of this tacky glue. I'm trying to uh, save my Fabri-Tac. That's my last bottle of it. So I'm just going to be really, really stingy with it. Got a little bit of glue there, so I'm going to try to get that off quickly. So now I want to get a couple of the little brads put in there. Okay, let me see how I'm doing, guys. Here we go. So let's see. Let's figure out where I want to position these. Where's my pokey tool? <laughs> oh dear. Come on. Okay, here we go. Boy, isn't that always the way. happy with that. So let me go ahead and put this one in first. have not moved yet. We're still packing. Uh, looks like the move isn't going to take place until uh, the first week of April now. It's always a delay in the UK. I don't know. They have a really strange system here, guys. Um, so yeah, it's looking like it's going to be um, about the first week of April. But as I said, I, I'm going to have things worked out so that there won't be any delays. Okay, I'm happy with that. That's cute, cute, cute. And it'll give, it still gives enough room. Damn, poked through that. I may have to come back and sort that. That'll still give enough room that I can add other things behind. And if I want to put a pocket back there, I can. But I just want to get kind of 
kind of the base elements and then I, I'll come back if I want to add something else to this I can or this may be enough let's see I don't like the idea of something on that, so I'm going to leave that string for now. So that's our first um, little flippy thing that we've got going. This will open up. Got a nice writing space here, but it still offers, if you want to add a pocket to it, you could. Um, I might actually cover this with some of the lined paper. I, I don't think I'm going to be happy with that showing. I think I'll want to finish that off. So that's probably, I'll do that before the next segment, but that's these are the sort of things um, that at the end I would go back and do. Um, but at least that gives us our first portion. And then this is the inside, just bearing in mind that <coughs> when this all is done. This will be covering that back and then we can f decide what other little flips and things we're going to have because this is this gives me about just under an inch so I can fill this up with a lot of really nice flips and things. Something going up, maybe something coming over this side. Um, so there we go guys. Um, we will go, we will carry on with part three and on the, the next segment, we will decide what we're going to do with this. So I hope you're enjoying this, everybody. Um, thanks so much for joining me. And I'll be back to carry on with our altered mailer journal slash lap book. Take care. Bye-bye.